Alright guys, how you doing? Zephead Motor Vlogs here. Welcome back to the channel. If you've came back, any new subscribers? Hello! <laughs> How's things? What's happening with you guys? I hate that bit of road up. It's got more patches on it than a Frisian coup. <laughs> I just love all the, the autumnal leaves on the, the trees and whatever. So many different colours. Just something about it, it's really, really nice. And it's very, very mild today. I think it's about 15 or 16 uh, degrees. It might actually be a slightly bit more because the sun has been out um, and it's bone dry. Uh, hasn't hasn't rained all night, so we started off with a dry day and it's just get better. So I hope you're all well. Hope you're all uh, fighting fit. Hope you're all safe and. Living your best life, that's, that's what's important. <laughs> Doing everything that makes you happy. So as I say, I'm just uh, out for a little, uh, a little jaunt and I, I thought I would take you, I thought I would take you somewhere that, I thought I would take you somewhere that is very, very close to me, but you guys, Wherever you are, I'll know about this person. So I'm not going to say much more than that. We'll have a wee chat, and then then when I sort of ride up onto the place, I'll give you a wee bit more information on it. So this is Johnson, and one of one of the things that was famous in Johnson was paintings. They were like, a, they did thread and like laces and, and stuff like that and the part on the right hand side, that was part of the the mill which is now no longer there. It's the town centre. And the cenotaph with the, the poppies on it. I think at this time of year everyone needs to remember those who have served and thank them for their service and the sacrifices that they have made because a lot of uh, a lot of people who have served have to deal with the sacrifices every single day. I have a tankard and on that tanker that says, in war, there are no unwounded soldiers. And that is very true because it's only came to light in the, the last number of years or been even recognised that PTSD is a, a massive uh, killer of uh, service uh, personnel. So yeah, um, have a special thought for, for all those who have uh, served in the military um, all across the world and the sacrifices that they have made. So there you go. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Eldersley, or back in the days of William Wallace, it was called Ellerslie, and I'm going to take you to a little place, which I think might just pop your socks off, <laughs> and it's just here, it's just here, so we're just swinging. Swing in here, mind that drain, and then swing in here. And then we'll just pull up right here. Like so. So 
So you've all seen the film Braveheart. You all know the story. Made famous. Made famous by Mel Gibson. Wallace was a hero of Scotland's wars of independence against England during the 13th and the 14th century. Recent archaeological work on this site proves that during the 13th and 14th centuries there was a significant fortified structure here that may have been the Wallace family home. I'm just about to take you up to William Wallace's house. <laughs> How cool is that? So here we have it, this is the structure. And somebody out in their Harley. So there we have it, look at that. William Wallace's house, reportedly. There's like a wee fireplace, a wee hearth and that there. Come on, we'll go in and see if he's in. Well, there you're in, son. Hello. So there you go. Look at that. I like old structures like this because they've got a lot, of, a lot of history. A lot of history behind them. That oak, that oak was massive, it got uh, taken down in a quite a big storm and then they had to cut it back so it's not really sort of grown back yet. Oak, I'm saying it's a yew tree, sorry. This tree is known locally as the Wallace Yew, it has got to be 300 years old, it has been surveyed and a programme of treatment is underway to improve its health. The Wallace Oak, an ancient oak which stood by the burn on the north side of the main road, was traditional site of the incident of the epic 15th century poem by about Wallace by Blind Harry. Like Robin Hood, Wallace was said to have hidden from his enemies in the tree, along with an impossible number of men. An acorn from the tree which fell in 1856 was planted in fountain gardens in Paisley. So there you go. So to a lot of people in Scotland, Wallace was Wallace was a, a famous person who tried to fight for independence. Tried to fight for independence for Scotland and we've been fighting ever since. As many of you know, Scotland is part of the United Kingdom. And I'm not going to get in the slightest bit political about it because that is, uh, that's not what this is about. This is about just showing you. That's carved to look like a helmet, see that? That's cool. It's the Wallace coat of arms. Replica of a plate on the floor at Westminster Hall. It was ordered by Edward I that after his revolting barbaric execution the head of Sir William Wallace be set on London Bridge, one quarter of his body to be suspended on the gibbet at Newcastle in Tyne, another quarter at Berwick, another quarter at Stirling, and the fourth quarter at St Johnstown. He had no team uh, sorry, he had no tomb. He needed none. That's a lovely, that's a lovely quote. These six plaques are erected in 1970 by the Clan Wallace Society, the cooperate uh, with the cooperation of the Second District Council of the County of Renfrew. Yeah, so he was a he was a national hero, and uh, he was tried for treason, and uh, he was hung, drawn, and quartered. And like I say, quarters of his body were 
St Johnston, Berwick, Newcastle upon Tyne, St Johnstown. So there you go, there's uh, Zedhead giving you a little bit of Scottish history. Eh? That's pretty smart. You know there's loads of people that stay around here, probably drive by that and ha pay it no attention whatsoever. But every time I go by, I always uh, have a little thought. The thought that, that he actually at one point stayed there. So we're so close to that, that little bit of history. So William Wallace, all the best sir, you'll live long in the hearts of the Scottish. history between all the home uh, nations within the, the Union of the United Kingdom that are bloody, they are um, barbaric, unjust in some cases, um, All Scotland wanted was to be free from the tyrannical grasp of uh, England. And to be fair, it's never actually uh, it's never actually been free of uh, free of them since. So, Americans uh, that may be watching, if you could imagine. Canada controlling your country, Canada telling you what you can and can't do, Canada telling you how much money you're going to get to spend on public services and stuff like that. It's one country controlling another country, which I do appreciate happens all around the world. Scotland, um, Scotland are a nation of forward thinkers, a nation of a nation of inspirational people. Now you look at um, you look at most of the the, the revol revolutionary inventions that uh, took place over the industrial period. That was all Scottish. It was all Scottish people that invented them. If you go back in history. So that was Willie Wallace's house. There you go. How about that? It's a shame Mel Gibson wasn't in. They could have, could have had a cup of tea. Eh? <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed that little uh, ride about. Just out and about locally at the moment. Just uh, time's not allowing me to to be as free as I would like at the moment. And the weather windows uh, in Scotland just now because we're into winter now. Um, I, I didn't expect today to be like uh, to be like this to be quite honest. Because I've got, I've actually got winter gloves on and I, I, I could honestly say that I don't need them because it's not cold in the slightest. I do not feel any cold or frost or anything. So this is Ed Head signing off. Don't forget to click like, comment and subscribe. This is Ed Head saying take care, stay safe, peace out, bye bye.